Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cypher, where, yeah, I looked into this some more and I looked into, where is it, this one over there, this gold bug, I can't tell from here, I think it is though, <laughs> some more as well, um, yeah, not really much work into gold bug, but, but this one I think I've got, so it's linear B, yeah, it was just kind of annoying. <laughs> I didn't do a good job of looking up what this R was about last time. And that cost us. Because uh, there are two different things here. There's like the letters and then there are symbols that mean that mean words. Like in, on this page here, they are listed as logograms. And they stand for whole words, not letters. So this first one here, I couldn't find in the letters. Because it's not a letter. This one's similar, but it's not that one. And this one is the word for cloth. And then the next one is ram. Which you can kind of see, I guess. And then the next one is not one of the linear B letters. It's one of those, you know, <laughs> really stitched together letters. And that looks like a P and a Y to me. Uh, and then the next one is actually a letter, I think. That's not the one we found. And it's T-O, I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, the next symbol, the, the X of the... Like parentheses and the weird, I don't know, Tori <laughs> or Pi or something up top. That one is the word, um, where is it now? I can find it in the list actually. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is it? Gold, there it is. Gold? That one is gold, then we have, you know, those weird zombie letters again. I don't know, they're not really zombie letters, they're like... I don't know. Uh, and it could be... I don't actually... There's a Y again for sure, and a P probably, and then maybe an L. Something like that. The next word... Um, is... Helmet. Which you can also kind of see. You know? That one is a helmet. Uh, the next thing is... Is that one of the letters again? That might be one of the letters. The last two are... Uh, the one the, the one with the straight line and the two wavy lines up to the left. Is Cyprus. And the... I don't know, umbrella looking thing is sword. And then the weird tree looking thing is an eye. So cloth, ram, yp, or py, to, and you can also probably already tell, like cr, <laughs> yp, to, crypto. And then, um, and I haven't really figured out the second part yet, that's as far as I got. <laughs> then I was sure that we were on the right track, and now we're back recording this. So we have gourd is a g, then we have... Um, I don't know, LPY, in whichever order, uh, probably LYP, right, and then we have Helmet, yeah, Cliff, and then we have what, I, and then Cyprus is a C and Sword is an S, so Cryptoglyphics, which is, yeah, I guess it's, yeah, that's what this is, <laughs> very, very fitting, I guess. Did I mistype it? I don't think I did. No, I did not. Alright, so that one is done. That one was a bit weird. Definitely, I mean, just writing out the letters and then looking for words. But it's kind of weird, because you'd never know how many... How many letters are in those, like, you know... Like an I, a T, an L, a C. All of those could be in that first one. Kind of hard to... Eliminate stuff, and then you know, second one is an L for sure, could be an E probably, and an L H. Also C again, you know, lots of stuff could be in there. It's kind of tough to rule out stuff. Anyway, next up we have this one maybe, or this one, which we also did some work on, but we didn't really get very far. We could probably do this one instead, because I'm curious about it. Most, most, you know. Most importantly, uh, 
All right, so do, can I just do, can you do, if I do Google Maps? I want to show you Google Maps because Google Maps just also always shows. <laughs> I think it shows, yeah, yeah, it shows my location, which is not what I want. Uh, well, it's a little bit off at least, but it's, it's pretty close. Also, there's like a symbol on the map for where I live, right? Yeah. <laughs> A home thing. No, thank you. We're not gonna capture this. Uh, 51 degrees. 28 minutes. Uh, can we do this in Google Maps straight up? I don't know. 54.1 north. And then it's zero, zero degrees. There's not a lot of degrees. 16 minutes. 36.7 seconds. West. Yes, okay, so where are we here? We are in the middle of London. Alright, that makes sense. We're in the river. What's next to us? The National Archives? Maybe that's relevant. The Team Keen Water Sports School. <laughs> I don't know, Chiswick to the east. There's a TK Max there. <laughs> Which, wait, that's, isn't that one of those things? It's not called TK Max in the in um, in North America. It's called something else, or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, I'm not really sure what we're doing here, though. 1.72 kilometers, but I don't know what we do. Like, do we, do we go 1.72 kilometers from this point? Because that's not very far, is it? Well, like, we're really zoomed in. You can't see. I could show you now, maybe, but I'm still scared. Because, like, I'm locked in with my real name and all of that. Google is just... Google knows too much. I can't show you Google. Let's zoom out a bit. So that's one kilometer. Give me 1.5. Can you give me 1.5? No, well, give me two. Okay. I mean, that's just, like, London. I don't know what you do with 1.72 kilometers. Anyway, let's open a second tab. Make... Yeah, open more maps. And then go to the second coordinate on the map. Or on the in the, in the riddle, in the cipher. 51 degrees, 28 minutes, 45. Point four seconds north, which is not far off from where we started, honestly. <laughs> and then zero zero degrees, fifteen minutes, and then one point six seconds west. Ours in the middle of the river. Or foster books used bookstore right next to that spot <laughs> bed and breakfast barnes station to the east there's a charging station there <laughs> for you know electric cars i assume duke duke's meadows water and sand playground okay so we're just okay so the river the Thames that make, makes like a U-shaped bend there, and where the first one is on the in the west, it's on the left side of the U, and the second spot is on the right side of the U. Um, that one is a little higher up. We should probably draw circles and intersect them. I don't know how we do that in Google Maps, though. I don't think we can. But if you draw like a 1.72 kilometer radius circle and a 1.33 kilometer radius circle around those two spots, you know, we'll get some some intersection points. And then, uh, you know, I'm guessing that's going to be very relevant for us. Yeah, I just don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, okay, let's go draw circles on map. Google knows what I'm doing. <laughs> Draw a circle with a radius on a map. Yes. But 
can I give you can I give you coordinates? No, not an address. And not 10 miles. I need can I do 1.72 in this field? I can. But I don't have an address, I have a coordinate. Um I don't think this is gonna give us what we need. Draw a circle. Create a circle on the Google map using a point and a radius. Okay, Let's zoom into London. And we can maybe approximate it here, but it's not gonna be very accurate. So the first one is like, zoom in more does the church you will be see okay can I okay I made I made the point now draw the circle please did you draw the circle you did and now can I do a new circle and keep the old one I don't think I can. <laughs> Let's see. This might not be the the page of our dreams here, but it might it might be good enough. So there's Par Par Foster Books. That's where we need to where we need to go here. Where is it? Duke's Meadows, Barnes Bridge. No, where are we? Duke's Meadows is not wrong. There it is, okay. And where are we in relation to that? Like right here. And this radius is supposed to be 1.33. Nope. 0.33. Did you draw it or did you not draw it? You did draw it. Okay, so you have an approximate. I, I, I had to like click those locations in the river. Both of them are slightly off. But if there's something significant at the intersection points of those circles, it should be still fairly close to where those circles intersect now, so we might have a chance of seeing one. Okay, so the first one is... Chiswick Tentel and Imprint Clinic. I don't know, that doesn't seem right. It's actually slightly north of that. Oh no, I'm moving the... I just moved the circle a little. Uh... So that doesn't do anything for me, I think. What's on the other one? Mott Lake. Mm, I don't know. Thompson House School? <laughs> Mott Lake? I don't know. Maybe that's not what we're doing. It just seemed right. Let's find another, let's see, uh, draw circle on map. Coordinates. GPS visualizer, let's see if you can do what I want you to do. Coordinate converter, calculate the great circle distance between two points. No. Draw direct routes between airports. No. No. <laughs> measure circle area. No, we don't really want to measure area, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure though. Uh, draw a circle to start. No, that's always not going to be helpful. Radius around the point on the map. Three map tours, let's see. It might be off base here, but like there's also a circle at the bottom of the thing on the wall there. <laughs> so that really makes me think that's what we're doing, right? Uh, unfortunately, due to large price increases in backend service, we can no longer offer some features. No. But this, this would actually be enough, yes. It needs the decimal coordinates, but fortunately Google Maps already converted that for me, so I don't need to do it now. So 51.48, whatever. And negative two, come on, give me that. 
Let's see if we can do that still. And we want a radius distance of 1.72. And now draw the radius on the map, please. I don't think I can do a second one, though. Also, it's development purposes only. This is not loading the correct, like, Google Maps thing. <laughs> Definitely isn't. k really you sure about that no yeah it seems right yeah yeah okay <laughs> i'll allow it uh leg or mutton pond <laughs> that's a great name for a pond um does it look like a leg or mutton i don't know if it does Okay, let's just try drawing another one, see if it erases the first one. If it does, then that's bad. But, you know, here's what it is, I guess. It doesn't say that it will delete the first one, but it also doesn't say that it's gonna keep it, so I don't know. 1.33. Draw. Oh no, I did keep it. Okay, so we have... Assuming that this is coded well, a very precise set of circles now. Okay, so the, the south intersection point is... Is a church. <laughs> it, it, it's colored in the, the circles, I can't really see what's on the map now. Alright, let's look at the other, okay. Where's this church? St. Mary the Virgin Mort Lake. Okay, so that's one of the churches, I guess. Or one of the intersection points. I'm just assuming the other one's gonna be a church now, too. And it might not be, but I'm assuming that. Now a second point is... I don't know what is up there. Bins Terrace and... Dale Street. Where's that now? Office. All right, let's see. Where am I here? Zoomed out too far. <laughs> uh, fire station? No, I want the post office, please. There it is. Okay. And from the post office, we go just. Did I say Bins and Dale or something? Duke? Duke? <laughs> bins, there's Bins and Dale, okay. So that intersects like right up there somewhere. Looks like there's just like apartment buildings or whatever they are. I guess nothing on the, like, Google doesn't know what's there, so I'm assuming it's just people are living there. All right, so what do we, what do we find again? St. Mary, the Virgin, Mortlake.
let's look up that charge. Okay, St. Mary the Virgin Mortlake is a parish church in Mortlake. Who would have thought? In the London borough of Richmond upon Thames, it is part of the Church of England and the Anglican commun Communion. The rector is the Reverend Canon Dr. Anne Nixon. The building on Mortlake High Street, London, I don't know, SW Southwest? I don't know. 14 dates from 1543. And is grade two star listed. I don't know what that means. Okay, it's like a historic environment. Blah, blah, blah. This one that has been placed on one of the four statuary lists made its name by Historic England in England. Okay, yeah, whatever. How does it help with the code? Still like a. Still like a. <laughs> I don't know. The first chapel in Mordlik, founded in 1348. Whatever. <laughs> okay, that's actually interesting. Stood on the river side of the high street on a site later occupied by the Mordlik Brewery. <laughs> uh, the only surviving relic is a 15th century font presented to this church by Archbishop Bouchier, I would say. Is that? Probably. Whatever. The present churchyard and church were given to the parish by King Henry VIII in 1543. An event commemorated by a stone in the west front of the tower. Its inscription, Vivat... <laughs> RH8, 1543, is dismissed by Cherry, whoever Cherry is. British historian, sure, and, I don't know, Pevsna? Or the historian is bogus. <laughs> I don't know how that helps us. I'm not sure if we're in the right place. Internal fittings. Don't care. Memorials also don't really care. Present day. John D. Memorial Plague. Astronomer, geographer, mathematician. Okay, so maybe that's our that's our lead here, John D. Dee's glyph, whose meaning he explained in Mona's Hieroglyphica. I mean, that kind of low. Nah, it doesn't really look similar to those symbols. seeing what I want to see. Um, it is by a straight line and a circle that the first and most simple example and representation of all things may be demonstrated. Where such things be either non-existent or merely hidden under nature's veils. Okay, I mean, there are some symbols here. Some circles, some, some half moons. Do you just have like an alphabet guy? <laughs> uh, that, would be, that would be much easier for me. It doesn't feel like we're on the wrong track here, but again, it doesn't seem quite right yet. know what that you know means for us going forward <laughs> I 
I mean, it's like the thing is, it's too much of co of a coincidence, right? There's a church, there's the the plaque for this Chong D guy. That it has to be it, right? But how do we how do we find like a full list? You know. Kind of tough. I had it all oh, together, yeah, those are the right anger things, too. We will now consider another aspect of the same. Equilateral cross that which follows is based upon the position shown in our monadic cross. Let us suppose a similar division of the cross into two parts be made as in the drawing. Yeah, and that's the two right angles that are like like the last one here and the the second one basically. Those are the two parts, or well, the, those are two parts of the cross. I guess there are more ways. I guess. <laughs> Uh, but those other lines, I'm not sure how we, I'm not sure how we start like translating stuff. Because I don't think there's just like a four alphabet here. I think that's just like, it's a list of like theorems here. And everything means something, but man. Well, if you ignore the dots, then all these parts of the thing are part of the main glyph, these glyph, actually. Like, there's a cross and then a circle and then... So basically, it's this this circle here. I wish I could draw on this. <laughs> and then imagine, like, a cross below, making it like a stick figure, basically, and then at the, the, where the... Yeah, the feet would be, I guess, there are two, li like, lines. Like sideways parentheses with the the rounded part looking up, basically. So the open part is facing down or whatever. Then there's one big parentheses as like looks like horns, devil's horns maybe, <laughs> going across the the face up top, and that's all. This, that's it. That's the glyph. But how would you translate this into into something meaningful? I don't know. So I would say that that first symbol is the left foot. Well, the right foot. The left foot, like looking at it, the one on the left side. And then that is the right arm. Then it's the left foot again. Then it's the right arm. But then there's a dot. I don't know what that means. Then that line up top is probably the top of the scar, the top of the head. Maybe? I'm not sure if that is enough anger there, but let's say it is. Then the next one is the left foot again, then right arm with the dot. <laughs> then top of the head, then this is like the, the horn on the left and then part of the head, like where it intersects. So that, that little thing around the corner where it goes up. Maybe? I'm not sure if that's true. There's no other point in the cliff that intersects like that. And then top of the head... Uh, which foot is that? Left foot again? There's always a left foot. Except for once there at the end. Left arm, but the lower part of it? This? I don't know where that goes, actually. Yeah, this one, the, the third from the end, I don't know where that would go. That doesn't look like it belongs anywhere. So maybe I'm not onto anything here. I don't know. <laughs> but like this is the this is these cliff 
for sure, right? I mean, that's the, the main part of it, like the, the face. <laughs> and then the, the right arm plus a dot. But what is that third from the end? Where would that be? It's a weird shape. I don't really know. Let's ignore it for now. I can't, you know, I think I need to like mess around with some stuff and I don't know if we should do that. How have we done 30 minutes already? That's insane. But we know that this is based on these gifts now. Uh, we don't really know what to do with the DNA based pairs, um, but let's work on gold bug. I have gold bug somewhere. There. But where's my, where are my notes for this? I didn't really <laughs> prepare well for this episode, as you maybe are able to tell. Uh, gold bug, gold bug, gold bug, gold bug. Where's gold bug? Because I don't remember what, what we had. Like, it was something... It, was, it wasn't just straightforward, right? Or was it? This is our this is Sata thing. Uh, this is what is this? This is Enigma still. It has to be this page then. Five seven twelve E. What am I what did I write down here? I don't, I don't know what we did here. I thought I did. <laughs> I guess I don't remember what we did here. Gold bug. There was a code in the text, right? But that didn't make any sense because it was just like a... That's a cipher. There it is, right? That was just like symbols, right? And then frequency and then translated like that. And what did we do? Okay, we looked at the cipher one, but we didn't have enough right. And I said maybe we should start. I don't know if I really said that. I think I did though, that we should start at the top. Then we're gonna try. That's, that's the last thing we're gonna try this episode. We're gonna see how far that takes us. So we start with three, which would be the third word, I guess, and it starts with many years ago. So that would be an A, if you go by the starting letter, because I don't know what else we would do. 31, 1, 2, 3, that's terrible, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31 is reduced. Four is I, six is A, 68, come on, 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a V? I don't know, that doesn't seem right. Uh, 15 is an O. L, 33, what was 31? Reduced. T. 90, come off of it. <laughs> We're gonna skip that one. 56, that's so bad. 22. I can't do 22. I don't know where I was. 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going too far. 3, 2, oh. Maybe? I don't know. This is really hard. 35. So 31 was reduced. 32, 33, 4, 5, T. And. I don't know, Alia Wart, it doesn't really seem like anything, but it also seems like maybe it's something. <sighs> Alia Wart, missing letter O, missing letter T, I guess you have to find those if you wanna... But it doesn't really spell anything, but it's so close to being, like, it, it's the letters seem right. <laughs> Ah, 90. 90. <laughs> if I could remember which one was 68. 1, 2, 3. Or fifth one, one, two. It's a V. Where was the V? The very? Let's say that's the very. Yes, it has to be. That's the only one V in that area. So 68. 69, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. It's a P. Is it 68, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 60, 59, 58, 7, 6, it's an R. Aria Wart Port. <laughs> well, Port is a thing. <laughs> Wart is a is a thing, I guess. Aria is a name. Is it a name? Is this is there someone named Aria Wart Port? <laughs> I kind of don't think so. Let's Google it. Uh. Well, I, I, you know, I get a start here. It's like a, it's like an Amazon link selling like a, what is that? I don't know what it is. Like a loading, like thing. It's German. Stromstation Wartport, and it's the font is Aria, I think, or something. I oh, know div Aria hidden, is true. Whatever that means. I don't know why it found. I don't know whatever. Aria Pro 2 TA40 semi acoustic hollow, hollow body. It's an acoustic guitar. Let's see if it looks any good. Oh, it's been sword. Okay, it was an auction. I don't think we're looking for any of those things, though. I don't think we're looking for a guitar. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> looking for that gives me a cipher walkthrough link, which is probably very helpful, but... It's just our cipher <laughs> uh, solutions. I don't know what to do with this area board port. Anagrams? I don't know. Vortier. Vortier. Porta. A port. Rupta. Tro tropa or tap. Probably not worth here in the end. Um, <sighs> portraits? Viola? Raptor? <laughs> 
Um, I don't know. Arrival? What what pot what pot arrival? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't seem quite right now, does it? Stick that in there. Uh, Void port. Oval portrait. The oval portrait is a horror short story by American writer Edgar Allan Poe. So you should have done that right away. I don't know if I need to to tear. No, just over portrait, okay. I can't type apparently. Okay. So we had the right idea, it's just tedious. So what do we have left? These are all done, right? Gold bug is done. This is done. Compass is done, even though that one was a weird one. Uh, this one is done, even though that was weird too. This one was mostly annoying. This one we did this episode. We haven't looked at this one at all yet. I just hope that Osignor and Payafair are gonna be enough to get us going here. This I'm still sure is DNA based pair stuff, but I don't know how to make that, you know, code or whatever. Like how to make these into letters, I don't know. <laughs> and these, I don't know how to do this. I'm pretty sure it's these glyph, but I don't know how to do it. I was just hoping that he would have like a whole like alphabet like this and he would just, you know, look it up, but that's not what it is. <sighs> And even if all of those are symbols, uh, uh, like taken out of the out of the cliff, how do we like? Where do we start? How do we translate? Like, which one is the like? How do we say this is this letter? I guess I, I don't know. And you can't really go by letter frequency because it's just one word. I'm assuming. So it's not like you could just. I mean, that one symbol happens like three times. The first one. It always looks like a face. Like those, you know. The first, the second, and third is an eye, a nose, and an eye, obviously. I think everyone can see that, right? <laughs> but it doesn't seem super useful in the end, because, you know, we're not looking for faces, we're looking for, I don't know, letters, I guess, a word. Probably something related to John D. We should probably maybe just, maybe, how many letters? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. So, what do we know about John D? Nothing. Let's look at his wiki page and find a 15 letter word. <laughs> there can't be many. Maybe one of his works. Let's see. What has he written or published or whatever? John D. Works. Mona's Hieroglyphica. Preface to Billingsley's Euclid. General and rare memorials pertaining to the perfect art of navigation annexed to the paradoxal compass in praise on the mystical rule of the seven planets. 
a true and faithful relation of what passed for many years between Dr. John Dee and some spirits. Uh, John Dee's five books of mystery. The mathematical preface to the elements of geometry of Euclid of Megara. So much stuff, but nothing with 15 letters, I'm pretty sure. mathematician, astronomer, astrologer, teacher, or cartist, and alchemist. He was the court astronomer for advi and advisor to Queen Elizabeth I, and spent much of his time on alchemy, divination, and hermetic philosophy. As an antiquarian, he had one of the largest libraries in England at the time. As a political advisor, he had advocated turning England's imperial expansion into a British empire, a term he is credited with coining. What a guy. Geometry. Discovery. Sorcery. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think we can guess it like this. I know I wish we could. <laughs> and we know that, you know, first third and I don't know fifth letter from the end they are the same letter <laughs> so if you could just find a bunch of 15 letter words <laughs> just find one where that you know is the case and we're done Antiquary John Aubrey describes Dee as a tall and slender as tall and slender. He wore a gown like an artist's gown with hanging sleeves and a slit. A very fair, clear, sanguine complexion, a long beard as white as milk, a very handsome man. <laughs> That's good to know, I guess. I mean I don't know if I would have described him. Like there's a portrait there. On the wiki page. Very handsome seems like an exaggeration, maybe. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I don't think we're gonna find a 15 letter word here, so. I might as well let this one go for now. So three left, and this one we have, like we have cracked the, the first step, we just need to decode, which is probably the toughest step, but still. This one I'm not sure about yet. I don't know what to do with those, like where to put them, how to use them. Like the coordinates, I mean, you put them on a map and then, you know, the, the circle here and then the radius, like just one, you know, 1.7, and 1.3. I don't know, it just seems to make sense, I guess. And this one we have not looked at all. At, at all, it might be easy. Definitely isn't, but it could be. <laughs> it could be. So three left. We're getting there. It's the last three. We're doing things. We're doing things. One more episode, maybe two. I'd like one more though. I don't know how we're gonna get there though. I really don't. Um. I mean, you have a chance for this one still to just do it. This one we couldn't just do, which is annoying. <laughs> and this one, yeah, I'm just not sure how to start. Uh, like, a lot, of, a lot of trial and error, where you just assume something is a letter and then... I just don't know what the dots mean. Because in the, in the cliff there's only one dot in the middle of the circle like this. So I don't know. 
I do not know, but that's it for today. <laughs> I'll see you, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.